Um diddly dum diddly do. Seems kinda normal, right? Ah! What the heck is that? What is it? What's wrong? Gabriel? I see it, Grace. Hold on. There's no one in the shop, and I know there's no one in back. It's okay. Okay? Gabriel, that thing is still barely alive. How could someone do this? With a knife, maybe? God, don't even start. We should call the police. No. I'll take care of it. But Gabriel... I said I'll take care of it. Why don't you go get some coffee? I'll have it all cleaned up before you get back. Oh, they know where you live now. Shh. It's gonna be fine. Now go on. Are you sure you don't want to go home? I could close the shop today. No. I'd rather keep busy. I'll be fine. At least that creepy guy is gone. Ugh. Not that they aren't still watching. Anyway, speaking of keeping busy... We got that book you ordered in this morning. The one on Rada drums. Really? Great! Oh dear lord, we're scared out of our wits. Gabriel! I see it. Stay back! What's with the surprises today? Ah, oh, god. Let's take a look. Special delivery, it seems. It's just an envelope. I can see that. Guess we better open to see what our prize is. Gabriel eyes the surreptitiously delivered envelope. There doesn't seem to be anything unusual about it. The envelope is unmarked. Well, only one way to find out who it might be from. Gabriel opens the envelope and finds... A note from Mosley and a small brass key. Mosley's note says, Gabe, I have to go underground with this thing. It runs wide and deep throughout the department and the city board. I'm already being watched. It was suggested I take vacation time, so I am. At least as far as they know. Try to keep out of this. It's too hot for a rookie. Just in case, I'm sending you my office key. You might find some useful things there. P.S. I think this note will look great in the book, don't you? Make sure you save it. The note is signed. Detective Mosley. Ugh, great. Now I gotta deal with, uh, well, not really deal with. Well, at least we know Mosley's on the case, but he's nowhere near us. And if we go to the police department, he's not going to back us up. Alright, first things first, read the newspaper. Always, always, always read the newspaper. Times Picayune, dated the 23rd of June, 1993. Gabriel finds an article about St. Jean's Eve. It discusses the day's Catholic roots and its adoption by voodoo devotees. In the early to mid-1800s, St. Jean's Eve was celebrated with elaborate voodoo gatherings at Lake Pontchartrain, Bayou St. Jean, and other sites outside the city. These days, the day is commemorated commercially in some of the local shops, and a few churches still hold a St. Jean's Eve mass. Despite his better judgment, Gabriel reads his horoscope. Today you will either die or your life will change forever. Sure, why not? It is St. John's Eve. They'll be out tonight for sure. But where? Jeez, it's like that horoscope writer is just targeting Gabriel. Maybe someone down at the Times Picayune is watching this guy, you know? Either that or or the Times Picayune writer writes for Sierra. Let's take a look at the Radadrum book. The book contains several pages of Rada drum code. Yeah. Great. Great, 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 great. Well, the first thing we need to do, if 
we're going to get close to this cult is to find this particular... Are you going to be okay here by yourself? I'll... I'll, I'll be just... just fine. Just... fix this, okay? I'm trying, Gracie. As I was saying, first thing, first order of business is to try to find where it is that they're holding this grand, massive voodoo celebration. Fairly certain if we get a nice enough disguise, we can get in. But all that's for naught if we can't figure out where it is. Well, now that we know that they're communicating by rata drummers, we should try to find a rata drum and see if we can't figure out exactly what it is that they're saying. Gabriel listens carefully to the drums and opens his Rada book to translate. Wait, right here. See this right here? That looks like Call Conclave. Right? That matches. Here's another one. Right here, this pattern right here. Dun 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 da da dun. Tonight. And let's see. Wait, right here. This one, this one, this one, this one. It seems like the words are separated by a three stripe by some random pattern. But here it is. It's like a four, it's like a four or five thing. It's like a four or five beat pause or something. Here. Triple, triple, double, double, triple, right? That looks like this. Hmm. If Gabriel's translation of the drum code is correct, there'll be a conclave tonight in the swamp. That must be the bayou. Oh, we figured out where they're meeting. Okay, let's work on our disguise. Now, as I remember, Crash said that he needed the sign of the snake in order to get close to these guys. Phew, it's humid out there. Made it back, though. Oh, boy. Party time. She did mention that she goes to oil painting. Maybe she's good enough to make a copy of this tattoo. You know, give Gabriel something to look alike. Hopefully it's enough. Will you do me a favor? What? Use your paints to copy this snake tattoo onto my chest. Now why on earth would you want me to do that? Huh, let's see. I'm going to a party tonight. Costume, you know. You don't say. I guess you're going with Maya. Uh, yeah. That's right. And why should I help you out? We don't even like Maya. Huh. Hmm. Well, let's try the no-nonsense answer. I know you feel inferior to Maya, but, you know, Get over it. Your persuasive power is astonishing, but I'd hate to use my inferior painting skills on your manly chest and ruin it for her. No. Okay. Play the jealousy card. Well, if you're jealous about my feelings for her... You know that's not it. I just think, as your friend, that she's trouble. It's perfectly understandable. I know you have certain feelings for me, quite naturally. Me? I would rather be hung by my hair over a bed of scorpions. I know it must be hard having it in your face like this. No chance to avoid hearing about it, seeing it day by day. Fine, I'll do it. Just shut up. Can we at least go in the back? Sure, but... Could you say that one more time and... Out your lips more. 